And I had a lot of people ask me, why are you doing that? Why do you, why do you need to lose more weight? Do you want to look anorexic? Do you want to do this? And, you know, for me, it wasn't really the weight loss that I was going for. It was more of, you know, what I was putting into my body, how I felt, and, you know, what I wanted to teach my son health-wise. I wanted, I wanted to know, obviously everyone knows, you know, to be healthy, you have to eat properly, you have to have proper nutrition, but what does that even mean? You know, I wasn't going to eat carrots and apples every single day and teach that to my son. So I decided to do the 21 day reset because I've talked to a lot of people and it worked fabulous for many. Um, and it actually worked fabulous for me. I sent in my results. Not because I thought I was going to win anything. Uh, because I wanted a t-shirt. I wanted, I wanted the, the t-shirt that said 21 day reset and I did it and I was proud of myself. So imagine how I felt when Beachbody phoned me and said, you want, you want some money. Oh yes, I want a hundred dollars. And I said, you want you want a thousand dollars. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> I, was, I was just a little, I was kind of excited. And then they told me, and now you're gonna have a chance to win twenty-five thousand dollars. And I was jumping around inside Walmart. My son thought we won the lottery. <laughs> I, I felt like I did. I mean, I lost ten pounds. If someone wants to give me a thousand dollars, who does that? That's great. <laughs> I want to use 20 now. Will you give me 2,000? <laughs> um, it's funny. It's funny being up here because six months ago I was sitting where you guys were. Six months ago I was in Winnipeg at my first Super Saturday. I got to listen to people like Miguel, Lindsay Matley speak. Today I get to listen to Scotty Hawks. It feels great. This experience is amazing. And six months ago I told myself that if one day I can stand up in front of a bunch of and make them feel the way that I felt listening to people like Miguel, people like Lindsay, then that would be one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. So to be standing up here for you guys is, is amazing. There, there's no words. I have no words. I do want to share my journey with you guys though. Um, I had my son fairly young. I gained 80 pounds. Oh, it's not getting more good. I mean, 80 pounds. In this picture, I was already losing my weight. I was already losing my weight, and I was I was a mess. I was unhealthy. I was always sick. I was always tired. I felt like my life was falling apart. I was far from my family, and I didn't know what to do. My relationship was falling apart. That was terrifying. Uh, no, no girl, no little girl. I'm a little, they don't dream about growing up and being a single mother. So I was terrified. I didn't know what to do. There were days when I didn't want to wake up. I would look in the mirror and I want to go back to sleep because I didn't, want, I didn't want to look at myself. I hated myself. And I hit a breaking point one day. I hit a breaking point in my life. And I didn't want to live. It's not that I didn't even want to look at myself. I didn't even want to live. But, um, you know, I had, I had my son, I had this perfect little boy, and he was depending on me, and he deserved a good mother. He loved me more than I loved myself, so that was heartbreaking for me. I just, I just wanted him, woo, I'm here. <laughs>
If I was going to be a good mother, if I was going to give my son the life that I always wanted to give him, I needed to help myself first. I needed to change my life first. So that's what I did. I hit the gym. I did less muscle combat. I did pump. I changed my mm -hmm. diet. And slowly but surely, I started finding myself again. Felt great. You know, the pounds started coming off. I started, I had ambition again. I had goals again. And, you know, I would look at my son and I was proud. And I could tell that he was proud of me. He's so proud of me. He's great. So that was a little bit of my journey. Um, I was so concentrated on not finding it. Even though I was <laughs> So I started gaining momentum and I started feeling better. We're going to fast forward a couple of years, okay? Each body entered my life exactly when I needed it to. Not because I needed to lose more weight. Uh, I was a great chick. I was eating healthy already. And I had a job that I loved. So why did I start Beach Body? Beach Body gave me the opportunity to start dreaming again. I was comfortable, I said I was ready to settle for the life that I had because I was comfortable. Enter beach body. I started, you know, wanting to let go. I had the urge to let go of the life that I planned as to have the life that I felt was waiting for me. And that's where I am today. I I get to work out all the time. I get to turn people's lives around and I get to win a thousand dollars. So that was kind of cool. Um, I know I'm babbling a lot. I have a lot. I'm babbling a lot because I'm really nervous. But if there's anything that you guys take away from what I said today, if you meet someone or you see someone who inspires you and you have a chance to be like that person, you have a chance to meet that person and be like that person, and you have that voice in your in your head that tells you, hey, maybe that can be me one day. That's where I was six months ago. I was like, maybe one day I can share my story. Maybe one day people will be inspired by me. Listen to that voice. Okay, because it's trying to tell you something and it's worth it. I get to do what I love. I love what I do. So sometimes the smallest step in the right direction is the biggest step of your life. So if you have to tiptoe, tiptoe, but make sure you take the step because we never regret the chances we take. We regret the ones we don't take.